Hi to all our televiewers, our stakeholders, the faculty, staff, students, and even the alumni as well as the greater community of Dumaguete City as we welcome you once again to another episode of I Greyhound now on its season three. My name is Cecil Henove and as always, we take great pains and effort as well to make sure that our episodes, especially for tonight's episode, is something that you would be looking forward to and hopefully you can learn and gain some insights from. So for tonight, this episode, friends, I am truly delighted and very pleased to have with us two of our stalwarts, if I may call them as such, in the university because they are behind a very major project in the university. Let's get to know them better. Immediately to my left is one of our instructors in the Department of Fine Arts and he is, as I mentioned, on top of something big, which we will get to know in a little while. I'd like to introduce to all our televiewers, Mr. Kevin Alex Pinero. Hi, Sir Kevin. My no, gabi'i. My gabi'i. Yes, thank you very much. And beside Kevin here is a student. No? He is a sophomore in the Fine Arts Department of Foundation University. And I am truly glad to introduce him to all our televiewers, Mr. Shane Amaro. Hi, Shane. Hi. Yes, good evening. And thank you very much. No, I pulled you out of your busy schedule today. Uh, this is midterms week and of course we have uh, many things to prepare for. But uh, let's appraise our uh, televiewers because those among our viewers who have visited uh, the campus and even those who are here and even those alumni who have long been here but have not uh, come to visit would marvel at the sight that would greet them at the Sofia Solier Cinco Hall because there is something that you did, which I would like uh, you to explain it to our televiewers. Maybe I'll ask Sir Kevin first. Yeah, we, this month, oh, no, last month, we did the uh, uh, restoration of the two murals inside uh, Sofia. And yeah, it was initiated by or requested by Sir Dean, mm -hmm. our university uh, president. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, uh, he he approached the the Department of Fine Arts. You know, he approached Mom Sandra, and Mom Sandra recommended uh, three of our students who will do the restoration, including me, to mm -hmm. to be the faculty in charge to advise and to get to guide the students' uh, restoration project. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, you mentioned Sir Dean, no? again for the benefit of our viewers, uh, Mr. Dean Cinco is our university yes. president and uh, Ma'am Sandra, you mentioned Ma'am Sandra also, yeah. Ms. Sandra Palomar Juan is the uh, chairperson, chairperson of our fine arts department. Yes, yeah, so you are, you restored, no? The yeah. two, actually two murals at the Sofia Solier Cinco Hall and I'd like to ask uh, Shane, you were one of those uh, handpicked, no? Yes. Uh, by your department chairperson to be part of the project. Yes. At, at, at first, uh, initially, what went on in your mind, Shane, before we go into the details of your work? What went on in your mind? You are one of three, yes. right, sir? Yes. No, you're one of three students uh, who were handpicked mm -mm, to work on the mural. Yeah. What came off my mind first during the, you know, when Sir Kevin asked me to paint or restore the mural, actually, you know, it's, I'm nervous at the time because it's my first time, actually. And, and also, it's a very nice experience to me to you know, experience that thing, especially if if someone asks me for a commission in the near future, yes. it could be helpful to me. Yes, oh, oh yeah. And I think uh, it will not be too long from now, no, Sir Kevin, that your our students would also be commissioned to do something, no, oh, of this sort. Yes, uh, Sir Kevin. Uh, perhaps we can explain to our televiewers also. So there is such a thing as restoration of a work of art, in this case, a mural. Uh, uh, before you answer that, Sir Kevin, how big or how large is the mural? Would you know the exact uh, measurements? It's, if you don't know the exact, yeah. it's very yes, big. Yes. Yeah, it's big, yeah, really, it's really, no? Big. It's like Murals are big. Two, two story. Okay. You know, two yes. story high. Yeah. So, mm -mm. And, and it's two wall, two wall. Yes, and yes. It's, it's, a very, it's a very challenging restoration. Actually, it's, my first time to do a restoration and I realized that doing restoration is more difficult than doing your own mural because I've been doing murals for uh, a long time now and then what, that's one of my realization uh, you have to res when you do restoration really have to respect the artwork and you have to respect the artist who did that and yeah we did a lot of research on mga old photos of the artwork 
to really compare it for as our guide sa pag restore because we don't want to uh, we don't want to change something or we don't want to you know uh, we don't want to disrespect the artist who did the mural yet so a lot of research we did para lang to to jump start the, that project yeah it, after all this is the original work of art no yeah. so in other words you mentioned artists so there were several there who several. worked on this no yes. uh, sir kevin yes uh, uh, the, the original artists the original artists i'm not really familiar with with mm -hmm. a lot of them but yes. i know some yeah especially hersley mm -hmm. hersley casero yeah casero who did the mm -hmm. the realistic parts of the okay. and mm -hmm. It's a good thing eh, yung mural at sa parts eh, yung gipaint is not that really damaged. Mm -hmm. So, okay. mas easier siya i-restore. Unlike sa another wall na kuhan siya very damaged mm -hmm. because of the uh, several factors okay. like water water damage, mm -hmm. nag-leak sa, sa roof sa okay. Sofia. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Before I ask Shane, you mentioned, uh, Sir Kevin, that you have had some experience also no, in doing mural yeah, painting. Yeah. But you mentioned that uh, uh, like restoring a, an original work of art is more difficult, difficult. and challenging, no? Yeah. Uh, and this is because uh, first is you have to respect the artwork. Oh, okay, okay, and yeah. Respect the artwork, respect the artist, mm -hmm. and the process is challenging because okay. you have to to evaluate the artwork. You have to assess like how big is the damage, like how the you have to know the colors, especially you need to get the right colors sa, so, sa, sa mural. Yeah. And yeah, for for that for that project it's for me it's major okay siya compared when you restored uh, an oil painting because an, an oil painting requires a lot of based on my research. Oil painting requires more a lot of research and because you're dealing with chemicals. No, there are some murals since it's water based so mas mas okay siya because it's water lang so we did a lot of cleaning before doing restoration and while cleaning there are uh nag peel ang mga color mm, so uh, we okay. have to be careful yeah, right, right. so yeah, yeah so. and yeah the water damage katong mga water stain mm -hmm. nga mm -hmm. nga dili na ma tang tang mm -hmm. so we have to retouch colors okay. and mm -hmm. atong apart and it's a very big area nga na water damage okay. so yeah challenging yeah yes but i can imagine no, the work and the research that you did yeah. uh, before finally doing the restoration no? yeah. yeah shane there are two of your classmates no who also worked with you but how, how did you collaborate with one another did you assign uh, maybe with the help of your instructor in charge did you assign like uh, one would be in in one part of the mural because after all there are two murals huh? uh, the left side of the hall and the right side of the hall mm -hmm. um, we actually uh, do it in 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 the first wall we actually do it the three of us okay yeah <clears throat> and then in in restoration the mural is actually you know in in my my experience is actually challenging for me because it's really hard to ano, to find the right color of the ano, the mural and also the you know, the patterns of those art yes. mm, okay okay the the color sir kevin uh, yeah. is what, what did they use acrylic or uh, I think water they based or water based paint like latex ah, okay yeah. yes and you were all of you were very like um, uh, like religious in maintaining, no, or yeah, yeah the original work itself, yeah. including the color. Yeah. Mm -mm. And while doing the restoration, since a lot of artists are 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 the original, uh, a lot of artists are doing that work, mm -mm. For that mural, we observe that each artist have different style, okay, different yes, patterns. Yes. So, mm -mm. so that's a challenge is yeah. how to understand how these artists work. Yes, yes. Okay, na uban medyo realistic, na uban medyo uh, cartoonish. Okay. So that's one of the, the mm. things that we encountered okay. during that. You know, yeah. So we did a lot of quite good, like it's not really meeting, but on yeah. the spot siya nga pan. Ah, yes. uh, okay, kini siyang artist, uh, muna niyang style, mm. no, compared atong koan. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we, we did a lot of uh, uh, communication. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't do it nga. We did quite good. We did 
to talk a lot. Yeah. Did you have a chance, uh, including the students, to meet some of the artists? I think you mentioned that you were able to meet with uh, Mr. Hersley Casero. Yeah, yeah. 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 How about the other artists? Did you, by any chance, get to meet some of them or maybe get in touch with them and before no, you started off? We okay. don't know this person. Ah, okay. Because uh, oh. the first, uh, when we saw the signature, it okay. was 1999. Yes, yes. It's a very long time. So in we other words, yeah, I, I saw that because <laughs> I made it a point to really to go back to the uh -oh. Sofia Solier. Of course, we use Sofia Solier, right? Uh -oh. uh, the, the hall uh, during events. But yeah. unless you would look at the two murals very closely, am yeah. I correct, Shane? No? You would not really notice some of yeah. the names. No, yeah. In fact, there were some names that I did not really see because they were on top. Yeah, right, oh, yeah. they were on top of the mural, but there were names that were that, that can easily be seen uh, by our naked eye, and which I saw, yes. Yeah. And I was trying to look for other names, but I could not see them because it's uh, way above the, the yeah. mural, no? Yeah, uh, so Shane, in your in the work that you did, no, especially that Sir Kevin said that there were artists uh, that, that had their signature, very interesting. Uh, well, yes, uh, I will not take it against you. I may not know all of the artists. I know some of them, but among you guys, because you're, you're young people, no? you're, you're idealistic, maybe you're very impressionable. What went on in your mind? Something like, for example, if you saw a name, ah, so this artist pala, no, is part of this great work. And then here you are restoring their work. Yeah, and the first time we, we, we saw the name of the artist and me and my and Jericho and my team, we actually mm -hmm. tried to search their name in Facebook and ah, social media. Okay. Oh. And then we tried to find Were their you successful uh, uh -oh. their styles or okay. their art in social media, but actually Wala. we don't find any. Ah, really? <laughs> okay. Oh. we can mention. I think no. Of course, uh, Sir Kevin. The names of the two other students. Uh, they are. Is it Jean? Jean Irene? Jean. Jean. Ah, Jean Irene Ebisa, who yeah. is in her senior year, and Jericho Espina, who is in his sophomore year. Yeah. Ah, so you tried to look for this art, search for them. Okay, but you were not successful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Shane. Yes. But but what what went on? Like for example, like oh my, no, I here I am. I'm restoring the work of this. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe one of our, uh, well known or great artists uh, in Dumaguete, no? Yeah, for me, I was very inspired of mm -hmm. the, ano, yeah. the artists because it's really nice to see those ano, murals and actually the styles are very, ano, like, um, very, very, very simple but it's very, ano, wonderful. Yeah, right. Oh, oh. In your, like, of course, maybe you met with them also, no? Uh, Sir Kevin, maybe you had an orientation with the students in the process of your uh, discussion or in the course of your discussion uh, what exactly did you tell them like uh, like be diligent with the work or be be meticulous with how you approach the work first i really always told them respect the artwork okay uh, uh, this is this is not your original mm -hmm. work this is the work of others we're yes. just helping it to be alive again okay. so yeah and I told them one, uh, yeah, be diligent. Because uh, one of one of our challenges, we start working with the mural on you know, the start of the class now. Mm. So, so August, sometime August, August yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they have conflict with the schedule, okay. so we we'll have to work with with the, with the scheduling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I really encourage them na, to prioritize this. Uh, project and it's a challenge to them uh, to take it this project seriously because I know it's their first time to yeah. to do a, a restoration mural with wapaga is like experience with making their own their mural own. Oh, oh, yes, they're yes. one level ahead the okay, yes, so, right, right. so it's a challenge mm -hmm. so it's a, this project was a very challenging yeah. to them you know? mm -hmm. and then yeah so yeah. I okay. always told them to Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, and also like yeah, be diligent as what you had yeah. mentioned, no, with uh, the original work yeah. of the artist. Uh, so your your initial steps, um, uh, Shane, together with your classmates, what did you do? I I think you first cleaned, yeah. no, the murals. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Explain it to our viewers, uh, Shane. Actually, we we first did is to clean the murals okay. with using Use, uh, using yeah cloth, yes. cloth, Water. yeah, wet cloth. 
oh. and then and water. we starting to study mm. the mural. Like mm. we look for like image or like reference about the mural. Looking for image, mm. and then and the next step is we we are going. I will did uh, mix some colors that can be uh, like to uh, to to paint in the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -oh. so the colors also were really the original color also, and the mixture, yeah. uh, Sir Kevin. Yeah, not, we, to be honest, we did not really get the, ori the okay. original colors because mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. used limited colors of okay. palette, mm -mm -mm. No? Uh, considering the budget. Mm -mm. Yeah. No? And they're using, since the mural is very colorful, it's really yeah. hard to get the, yes. the exact yes, colors. Really so very colorful. what we did is to get the closest color to the okay. original color mm -hmm. and yeah, somehow we, mm -hmm. we achieved that. Yeah. that but, but did goal. you restore the entire mural or were there just portions? Those that were probably uh, damaged with uh, water yeah. or maybe... Um, not the whole thing but only uh -huh. the damaged part. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, but now you know the, the colors, you said it's very colorful, really, truly, if our uh, yeah. friends and our viewers uh, can visit. Uh, Foundation University, and I think uh, we're showing also, no, um, yeah. a part of our B-rolls. The mural itself, it's really very colorful, no. Yeah. Uh -uh. yeah. Uh, so for Kevin, like you really went up the, you used a lift, no? Work okay. Lift, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. You went up the the pinakatuk tok, no, the yes. the highest point of the mural. Yeah. And, and then what did you what did you discover, uh, Shane? I just uh, I discovered when I was uh, when my team is going to up in the lift. Okay. Like, in above, like it's the lift is starting to shaking if really? someone is moving. Like, oh, okay. So were all three of you or four of you uh, in in the lift together? Ah uh, no, mom. Yeah, just in the or, bottom part in the middle bottom, part. Bottom, okay. But so in the top only two. The, ah, okay, yeah, okay. Uh -oh. It's very shaking now when, okay. when uh -oh. it's very high. So when somebody moves uh, down below, it will shake, uh, yeah. Shane. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> and uh, my my question of what did you discover is more actually of the individuals no, that were portrayed there, including the events. I think some events that we have had here in the yeah. university, yeah. no, have also been uh, manifested yeah. or shown uh, or interpreted in the mural. Uh, were you familiar because you're now in your sophomore year? You're familiar with some of the events that were portrayed there both the left mural or the ano ba to? Yung the left wall and the right wall uh, actually I don't really you know, recognize the defense okay oh yeah, ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yes and then maybe it was there a daloy uh, that was manifested there too uh, I think or maybe at that time at the time Oh, 1999, no? Ah, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's oh. more on the kasajaan. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and then in the past, uh, we yeah. called it Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. No? Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Oh, oh. Daluy is, I think, uh, early 2000 early. already. Oh, oh. Sometime 2000. Ah, okay. So yeah. some of the events uh, you were able to like spot or recognize and have been a part of it, mm -hmm. Shane. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. How about the in individual, Sir Kevin? In your research, no. Of course, we have. Uh, our founder, no, Dr. Vicente Cinco, and then the former university president, uh, Leandro, Leandro Cinco, Cinco, on the right, right, uh, right side, mural, yeah. yes, right the, side. The, the most damaged part was the Sir Leandro Cinco's oh, face. Oh, I see. Okay. That's oh, the one I really restored. So okay. Oh, oh, I oh, oh. researched a lot of photos in the the library mm -hmm. and the museum because. Mm -hmm. Uh, I need to get the exact photo. Okay. Yes, so yes. somehow I, I was able to achieve that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Usually, no, be, being artists yourselves and uh, the work truly is is challenging, as what you had mentioned, no. Yeah. But uh, wouldn't you have wanted something of that sort to be done by you solely? Uh, what I'm trying to say here is you're working on the two murals all at one time, right? Yeah. So all three or all four of you, including yeah. your instructor. But uh, I'm just thinking aloud, no? Would you have wanted uh, for the mural to, to be worked on by you, by yourself? Oh, parang ikaw lang mag-isa, no? Yeah. Uh, no one else. Sir Kevin first. Me personally, I would take the challenge. Mm -hmm. no. of, of working? Of working alone. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I think I... I because I'm also a practicing artist, yes, I, yes, I yes. do best when I work alone. Yeah. So, and doing restoration, it's one of my. I want to do that 
uh, that field because mm -hmm. your know, restoration is really different uh, compared to doing doing your own work mm -hmm. doing your own artwork mm -hmm. Yeah, so I would take that challenge. Okay, yeah. oh, working by yourself. By yourself. No? Oh, but you have had uh, some murals already that you yeah, have worked on, right? Yeah, commissioned murals. Yeah, commissioned works. Yes, yes. Oh, how about uh, Shane? Um, actually, I don't really know. I can't do it alone. Ah, because oh. it's really big and then <laughs> it's boring if you do it alone. Ah, yeah. okay. You have someone to talk. Uh, okay, yeah, I was about to say, uh, did you like exchange pleasantries or exchange okay. notes? No. Uh -oh. Aren't you distracted, for example, if you talk while uh, working at the same time? I don't know about you, Shane. I'm not really distracted. Like, oh, okay. it's fun to have ah, someone to talk okay. uh -oh, yeah, while doing good. the paint. Yeah. Yes, yes. Music is very important. Ah, so you have music also <laughs> yeah, being played. We, we yeah, we played music there yeah, inside well, working. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. and, and I think one of the challenges, I think yeah, you're able to mention this too uh, in your report, no? A uh, written report, uh, Sir Kevin, is that there were uh, construction, construction work yeah. also uh, ongoing, ongoing at the same time, no? Yeah. Mm -mm. So, yeah, the problem is... Uh, we are not only using. We are not the only one using the lift. Okay. Uh, also, the workers al also using the lift. So, okay. so we are alternating oh. using the lift. So, so whenever the the workers are using the lift, so we have to wait. Mm -hmm. oh. no, okay. Or okay. we do the lower part of okay. the other mural. Yeah. No. So it really kills time uh -oh. waiting. Mm -hmm. So that's one of our challenges. Yeah. Oh, the lower part, the, meaning, uh, yeah, so, something that you can just uh, work, work on, on even without uh, using the, the lift, no? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Or we pile the chairs. Ah, <laughs> so, okay. So, oh, oh. Siya. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Or uh, be, ano na lang, no? uh, be, creative. be creative. How, how can I reach the, uh, at least those that I can reach, especially yeah. uh, the, given the resources that we have, no? Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. D did you, I'm also curious, Sir Kevin, no? because this is a learning experience for mm -hmm. our students too. Did you at the same time, like coach them or do some discussion with them while they were working yeah, yeah. especially uh, with the colors because mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they uh, they want to do their own style mm -hmm. but I really want to stick with the original with the colors so from time to time I always check on them okay oh it's opening a color you have mm -hmm. to adjust this or mm -hmm. how about you, you know don't make it more don't make it more too cartoonish mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, so from time to time i'm always monitoring yeah, them yeah yeah, yeah. You, you mentioned something about it's possible to combine pala no uh, various styles of artists yeah. no as what you had mentioned and this is where i think many among our viewers may be curious at i'm also curious about it no in other words it's it's fine or it's uh, acceptable if that would be the word to combine such no uh, yeah. In a mural, I, yeah, is yeah. it in a mural? Yeah. Right now, no, okay. in, in the art community, mm -hmm. it's acceptable. They okay. call it collaborative art. Collaborative, yes. The, uh, artists right now are not working alone. They collaborate with other artists to create uh, a beautiful piece. Mm -hmm. No, so yeah, it's it's yeah. a it's a practice yes. right now in the contemporary world. Okay, yeah, that's really. We're we're not in the modern period or in the Renaissance. Mm -hmm. na artists are doing on their own ra. Okay. right now we're in the contemporary yeah. artists are working together yeah. to, yes. to to do a uh, one big artwork yes right? okay uh, so in yeah of course a mural can be done by one artist yeah. no? that, that's oh. possible no yeah, yeah. Uh, on the other hand a mural can also be done by several, several artists yes. like uh, these two murals that mm. we have at Sofia Solier Cinco Hall no but uh, uh, I'm curious as well uh, Shane what is your style no? or have you already established your own style uh, actually I don't have an no, original style mm -hmm. uh, I'm just no learning pa Okay. Discover uh -huh. my own style. Yes, yes. And yes, now that you're on, on, in your second year, I think going on third year, it's not too long from now, no? Yeah. That uh, hopefully you would be able to finish your course or your degree. What um, learnings have you gotten from our Department of Fine Arts so far? Uh, I actually learned a lot from Sir Kevin, especially, mm. you know, <laughs> like anatomy, mm, or, you know, yeah. then the colors, like, like, Sir Kevin said, na, no, like use limited palettes for mm -hmm. to experiment mm -hmm. lots okay. of colors. Uh -oh. But what what do you plan to like go into 
if you were given the chance, uh, what style would you want to go into given that uh, you have been exposed to the art, at least in these two murals that you worked on? Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm focusing now in uh, like scribbling, mm, the style of okay. scribbling because it's really you know, simple but you can make a lot of art. Okay. Like using, uh -oh. Scribble, no? Yeah. Scribbling, okay. Uh -oh. Would that be the same as, I know my, my, my term probably is not uh, scientific, no? Doodling or something? Parang ano lang? Scribbling, uh, okay. scribbling is like, you, you scribble, you, you write, you, you, uh, no, you scribble when you write or something, no? Yeah, it's oh, like I, I scribble, yeah. Figures. I, I, yes, oh, I'll scribble a note, no? Yeah. Oh, oh. So that's how, how it is uh, being described, Sir Kevin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're okay. scribbling a figure. Okay. Yeah, it's another technique in, okay. in, in drawing, the mm. scribbling. Okay. Like, it's, it's messy. Mm -hmm. uh, like why, why is it messy? Uh, there's no, there's oh. no uh, direct mm -hmm. lines. It's more on, it's really like doodling. Okay, oh, the, oh, the, oh, the, doodling now, uh, scribbling. scribbling. Ah, yeah. okay. Oh, oh. So you're you, you are parang beginning to discover yourself chain as far as this uh, like uh, style is concerned but so far no so far in your uh, in the exposure that you have gotten from our department i'm pretty certain they may have also been involved in our exhibits and in other activities that we have had uh, sir kevin in the department uh, in the fine arts department our students yeah uh, yeah oh, oh Lipa, we have had several yeah they, they they have they tried to, or they have exhibited their works in, in our department gallery, the no, outputs. Nila. Yeah, right, yeah. right. And pretty much they were exposed in the local arts scene yes, because yes. they have visited the local galleries here. Right. Mm -hmm. So they met, they pretty much meet all, some of the artists okay. here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, some of our, even some of our students are exposed in the national art scene. Yes, yes. Like in the art fair, yeah. and right now in the, in the Metro Bank in yes. Manila. Okay, yeah. So mm -hmm. that's, uh, one of the goal of our department is to really expose our students that there's future in art, right. future in art. Yes, that yes. They, they can earn money, uh, they can really pursue art as a career. Yeah. Yeah. And we have had, uh, I think, uh, a few episodes ago, we were able to feature uh, three of our um, alumni, alumni yeah. of the Fine Arts Department. And they also did the mural, no? Ah, At yeah. the Belfry uh, uh, Tower yes. of the Cathedral. Yes, yes. Wow, great, no? So I really take my hats off to, my hat off to you yeah. guys, especially that, you know, it, like, for example, for uh, Shane here, you have not yet even started out on something big, but here you are. You are part of the restoration project of no less than the murals that we have, no, mm -hmm. in uh, a venue that we have been using uh, for for uh, many events that we have. So, in the last few minutes that we have, in the few minutes that we have, uh, Sir Kevin and uh, Shane, perhaps uh, there are individuals who you would like to thank, and maybe you have a message to the FU community, especially that uh, we are being. Um, watched and we are telecast all over the world because we're being streamed live also on Facebook. Yeah, uh, Shane first. Um, I, I actually think uh, I would like to thank um, Mom Sandra and also Sir Kevin and for choosing me to be part of the mural and then yeah. it's a big, uh, it's a big experience for me. Yeah. Oh, oh congratulations. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Kudos, kudos for a job well done. Sir Kevin, as our uh, instructor in charge, yes. Yeah, I would like to thank Sir Dean for the never ending support to the department and Mom Sandra for her very hard, uh, hard work, for her dedication to the department. That uh, her leadership really pushed us to, to do more, you know, in the, me as a faculty, uh, to do more in what I do. Yeah. And her presence is a very big inspiration and encouragement to all of us and yeah and thank you to all the final students who <laughs> did not left <laughs> yeah yeah right and, and for the support and as the well support, no yeah, yeah. Oh, also dagang salamat as we say no uh, thank you very much for this time uh, mr kevin uh, pinero and uh, shane amaro of uh, the fine arts department of foundation university and kudos again hats my hats 
uh, hats off to you, uh, especially that you have completed this particular project of restoration of the two murals at Sofia Solier Cinco Hall. So with that, friends, we bring to a close another episode of I Greyhound. We have just been speaking with uh, two of our friends and our colleagues at the Fine Arts Department of Foundation University for this project that we are all truly proud of. Please do not forget, we are also being streamed live on the Facebook page of Foundation University and we are telecast on Channel 6 of Phil Products TV Dumaguete. Please do not forget our replays are on Fridays like tomorrow and Saturday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon to 3 in the afternoon. And uh, yes, once again, I'd like to thank my uh, stylist, Miss Rofi of Yvonne's Closet for my chic clothes on the show as always. This has been Cecile Henove bidding everyone a pleasant evening. Since its inception in 1949, Foundation University has carved a place in academia, the home of the Greyhound. This school is a vanguard of technology, innovations, strategy, collaboration, and new directions towards excellence and quality. It has grappled with various challenges, most recently, the worldwide pandemic. Its faculty and staff, students, and alumni remain true to the core values of excellence, commitment, integrity, and service. Foundation University will soon celebrate its Diamond Jubilee anniversary. It stands ready for what the future holds. We have built a community of influence started by founder Dr. Vicente G. Cinco. It is committed to a mission of making education accessible to all. On our 75th, Foundation University thrives to consistently realize its mission and vision, strives to be relevant in the exigencies of the times, comes alive despite circumstances, and in the process makes a headway for a high five to the rest of the world. High five! Okay.